What is up everyone, this is Share Talking. welcome back to my channel. On today's video, let's talk about the new limited time feature Gacha Banners that consists of Enchanted Princess Bell and Warrior Beast. Well, this is a very nice update that just launched app for maintenance and if you go to your mail, you will receive a limited 10 time pool ticket to use in any of those two banners. So I'm here to guide you through the best decision to make and well it's easy it's bell and i will explain why because bell is actually very nice as a offensive buffer and she does have a design that makes sense well i already have bell so it will be easier for me to explain her to you by clicking i got super lucky with my main account got four copies of bell one i had to pity the other ones were from pools well, she is a buffer for offensive parties, where she buffs critical chance up for all allies for 3 turns, critical power up for 3 turns, and then when you limit break her, she starts getting attack up as well. And this is super important. Well, buffing just crit chance and crit power up will only improve the chance of landing crit and when crit happens it will do more damage but it's not really increasing your damage output all the time so getting this attack up matters but she will then clash with genie she doesn't really want to be in the same parties as genie is but you could still theoretically use them together now you still need that first limit to break at least in order to trigger her ex skill that you can see here if her crit chance up is at level 2 or more and attack up is at level 2 or more deals damage to enemies this will probably be like a normal attack but spread to all enemies this is not always useful on boss fights because it's not just that much extra damage but since she is already getting the crit chance up crit damage up and attack up it may actually help now, why is Bell so much better than Beast? Because Beast design is actually super flawed. But if you already have Genie, I can tell you that you can, for now, keep using Genie just fine. There's something very good in the game, and it's that the banner units are getting added to the normal pool on the Premier Gacha. You can already see Maleficent and Aurora being here. You can switch between all the characters here and you can see them added by the end. So, you can get them even when the banner is gone. They are not limited, at least for now, there's no limited characters. With that said, if you already have Genie, Bell kind of clashes a little because Genie buffs attack as well. Now, She's a little pricier because you really need her first limit break to trigger her own effect from herself without having to have someone else's. But if you got only one copy of Bell, then using someone like Genie to buff her attack would be interesting because this way she will still trigger her EX skill without any problem. Another character that works super well with Bell is Hero Miki because he does have a EX skill that will trigger when his critical chance up is at level 2 or higher. So if you have him and you are invested on Mickey, you can actually get Bell to make him even better. Now, if you already have Genie, like I said, Genie is already good enough and can keep being used for now. You will not be using them together most of the time and Bell actually prefers to be paired up with Winnie the Pooh. That's probably the best buffer in the game right now because he doesn't have a real competitor. But now let's talk about Warrior Beast and why he's not that great. For starting, Beast is designed as a single target damage dealer. You can see here from skill that deals massive damage to one enemy. He does have average status, as you can see 28 for attack. That means that he will never reach the same status as Mulan and other damage dealers like Maleficent. You can even check here by looking at the premier gacha that some damage dealers will have 30 points of attack. They reach higher values than on others. Look, Maleficent and Peter Pan also has it. 
meaning that his damage output at max level will be a little inferior. His skill is massive damage versus one enemy. And that is the same thing that you can see with the other characters as well. They are single target focused. And we can see that Mickey has a higher cost because he brings blue striker. So if the enemy is weak to the blue element, you're going to do more damage. Then we have a character like Juji that has white striker. So enemies weak to the white element, we receive more damage. And Peter Pan has green striker, meaning that you're going to do more damage to enemies weak to the green element. So his attack is a little cheaper because it doesn't carry the striker element, making him more of a neutral damage dealer. But is that discount really good? I don't think so, because if you are thinking about bringing a strong attacker, you want to take benefit of landing strong attacks versus weak enemies. And in the case of Beast, no, you're just going to get neutral damage. His EX skill is a 50% chance to give you 20% SP gauge. If your SP gauge was at 40% or less, that's really, really specific, right? It is. And the reason why I don't like him as well. We have Peter Pan, and he has a similar design. Uh, like I said, he is also a damage dealer, but he has higher attack. Every three turns, he gains 30% off max SP. So, a guarantee, technically, 10 points of SP per turn. But you get it on turn 3 onwards. Okay. So, you should consider 10 points per turn if your max SP god is 100. In the case of Beast, you need to meet the criteria, that is to have less than 40% of your gauge, and then you still have a 50% chance to get 20% of your max. That will be around 10% per turn on the average. You're messing up RNG, and you are also having a new criteria that sometimes may not be met. So, why? Peter Pan is not really that good anyway, and he is better than Beast. Hence why I'm saying Beast is really not good, and you should not be pulling for Beast. So, it's either pull for Bell to get uh, offensive buffer, to maybe try to kill some enemies faster. This can really help some people having difficulties with some of the hard bosses and even the bonus fights or just wait for new banners. I believe that they will be releasing new events every week, but it's better to wait and see what's coming. Anyway, you should be using your free ticket on Bell because you may have a chance of getting her. Even if you already have Genie, I believe it's still better to pull with your free ticket for Bell. In my opinion, you should completely forget about Beast. Anyway, you can still save if you don't want to summon on these banners and spend too much on Maleficent. Now, where is Cinderella? I'll tell you, Cinderella is free. Like I said, she was in the news. She can be gotten from the new event. You have a tower of 30 floors and you can grind by the action shop we'll be talking about this event in the next video though thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't if you want to support the channel we have links in the description of the video and don't forget to click the like button if you are watching this i see you soon in the next video or live stream goodbye